so vivid in their memory that they remember it being that way but the fact that it's not and there's no evidence to prove that the only explanation is that we have jumped alternative realities or we're living in a different alternative reality Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Renee, if you're new. Thank you so much for clicking and watching this video. So today's video is something that I have came across in the past, but recently I've gotten a lot of requests to do a video about, and that is the Mandela Effect. If you guys are not familiar with the Mandela Effect, it's super spooky. It makes you like question everything. You're like, what the hell? Like honestly, it freaks people out and it freaks me out and it's a really really interesting topic that no one really knows the answer to but people have lots of conspiracy theories explanations of their own and theories as to what this all is like why it is the way it is so basically the mandela effect is something that someone had created kind of explaining the theory of alternate realities and they feel like this is proof of different multi-universes and parallel universes whatever you call it so i've mentioned um theories about the parallel universes on my channel before i've actually done the two cup method um which is basically an exercise that you do to jump to different dimensions i will leave it linked on the screen if you guys want to check it out it's really interesting and if anything it's more of just like a psychological way to believe in manifesting whatever you're trying to manifest that's how i kind of look at it it's more of like a visualization technique but a lot of people believe that you can can really jump parallels and there are multiple universes the theory of the parallel universe is in lots of science books and movies I know interstellar if you guys have watched interstellar has kind of touched on parallel universes and like different dimensions of the universe Stephen Hawking's actually was studying multi universes before he passed away like that was his last study was talking about multi universes and it's just a really really interesting topic that a lot of scientists are studying so a quick explanation if you are not a science person to kind of understand and grasp the idea of parallel universes is that all the choices that you've made here in this universe plays out in parallel universes so in each of these different alternative universes there's different versions of these events and choices that you've made playing out in different realities playing out in different universes and if you've watched interstellar it's a really good explanation to kind of understand it there's a part where matthew mcconaughey actually goes back and it kind of shows like this cubicle like it's like another dimension and basically plays out each and every second or millisecond whatever it is time it's a really hard concept to grasp it really is i kind of understood it when i watched interstellar just because he kind of floats through time he goes through like a black hole and all these different parallel realities and different universes and different dimensions are kind of laid out in that movie in a more visual effect so if you guys aren't familiar with parallel universes i do have another explanation and video about it um i tried my best to explain it and you can watch that so the mandela effect is an example or maybe an explanation maybe even proof that these parallel realities actually exist and the mandela effect is a collective misremembering of an event or a fact it really does blow my mind and it could be you know an explanation like have we crossed different alternative realities I'm gonna be showing you guys 10 examples of what the Mandela effect is and how what the hell it kind of does to your brain hundreds and thousands of people you know have remembered these certain facts or images it's so vivid in their memory that they remember it being that way but the fact that it's not and there's no evidence to prove that the only explanation is that we have jumped alternative realities or we're living in a different alternative reality or maybe even time travel who knows these are going to be 10 like crazy ass Mandela effect examples. So the first one obviously is Nelson Mandela. That's kind of what the Mandela effect is named after. And a lot of people vividly remember Nelson Mandela dying in prison in the 80s. And they remember having conversations about it. They remember seeing it on the news like super vividly. But Nelson Mandela did not die in the 80s. He actually died in 2013. It's like a mind so another really really creepy one hundreds and thousands of people remember this i am included in that the bernstein bears or bernstein bears a childhood book that i used to read and i vividly remember it being bernstein with an i e or e i but it's bernstein bears and there's an a in there so you can look it up yourself if you have the books if you go back it will be bernstein bears but i remember it so much that i'm like what the hell like i i really remember it being with an eye like it's so freaky another one is forrest gump he says life is like a box of chocolates it's not life is like a box of chocolates it's life was like a box of chocolates my mom always 
always said, life was like a box of chocolates. Again, another one that is actually in an old movie, Snow White, is Mirror, Mirror on the Wall. Everyone remembers it as Mirror, Mirror on the Wall. Who's the finest of them all, right? No, it's Magic Mirror on the Wall. Like, what? What wouldst thou know, my queen? Magic Mirror on the Wall. Who is the fairest? Another one that's super interesting is the Monopoly Man. Do you guys remember the Monopoly Man being like this or like this? Well, the answer is this. The Monopoly Man did not have a pinnacle on his eye, which again, I super vividly remember the Monopoly Man having a pinnacle on his eye because I used to play Monopoly all the time with my dad and I swear to God, like if you gave me a bet, I would be like, I will bet all my money that this Monopoly Man had a pinnacle, but you look back and he does not have a pinnacle. This one really freaked me out. So I grew up in the 90s, so Skechers was like a really big popular brand of shoe back then. And I remember it vividly being Skechers, but it's actually not Skechers. It's actually spelled this way and that just really like do we call them skeechers no they're called sketchers like with a t i i remember the t again i will bet all my money it was a freaking t this one's really interesting so pikachu did pikachu look like this or look like this did he have a black tip on his tail no he did not again look it up i swear to god this one's good too so curious george did curious george have a tail no Curious George did not have a tail. What? You know that spray stuff that you spray all in your room called Febreze? Well, there's actually only one E in Febreze. My mom was like so freaked out by this one, she went to go get her Febreze bottle, and there is one E in Febreze. This one I just found today, and it's White Out. If you guys remember like the little White Out, the brand White Out, it's actually Wit Out. Like, I mean, what? They spell it W-I-T. It's not white out. And again, that one like freaked me out because I vividly remember like W-H-I-T-E, but it's W-H-I-T out, white out, wit out, like what? So there are so many different examples of the Mandela effect that people still cannot explain. And there's quizzes all online. I will leave some more examples linked in the description box or like a Mandela effect quiz that will blow your mind. And it's so freaky. What is your explanation of this like first of all did you guys even get any of those 10 that i just showed you correctly like do you remember them being the correct version or do you remember them being completely the wrong version i all of those remember being the wrong version sometimes i'll come across one that i remember the right version of and it's really rare and so is hundreds and thousands of different people's answers which is like how are we all collectively remembering something specifically but it's not that way there has to be some sort of logical explanation to this and there's really not so that's why a lot of people think we are living in an alternative reality because not only have we jumped dimensions or somehow time travel has like affected our memories or something it's just so confusing and it's crazy to think about if you guys do have any explanation or what you think it is do you think we've jumped realities or do you think that it's just kind of a misunderstanding but again how can we all be misunderstanding the same thing like i just don't understand so if you guys have any sort of uh explanation as what you think it is definitely pop it down below i am super interested to know but if you could write it in terms like i understand science like this much <laughs> it's really hard for me to grasp scientific theories and scientific laws and such if you're a scientist and you explain things in scientific terms can you dumb it down to my language because i'm a slow learner when it comes to science i need a dumbed down version if that makes sense if you are a scientist and you want to explain it to me please do but dumb it down that's gonna be it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it was more of like a fun manifestation wednesday video i thought a lot of you guys have been asking me about it so i just wanted to give kind of my input i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you guys all in a future one bye guys so another one that actually includes myself, people used to think that my channel was called Simply Nay, which it's never been called Simply Nay. I've always had it Renee Amberg, but a lot of people tell me like, oh, I remember when your channel was Simply Nay. Like what? It was never Simply Nay. I'm just kidding. It was Simply Nay. I'm just kidding. Did I freak you out or did I freak you out? New subscribers are like, what the hell is she talking about? Do you hate